Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back. Let's play some more Grand Theft Auto V. And last time around, we got to do a, a cool kind of uh, paying tribute mission to, uh, uh, what was it, to San Andreas, where we got to fly a plane inside of a plane, killed everybody on board the plane, flew the plane, and then crashed the plane. <laughs> it was awesome. And so we'll have to figure out what comes with that later. But now, what we're going to do today is we've got a couple missions we can do. We've got this Federal Investigation Bureau one, and we've got a Strangers and Freaks mission, which I kind of want to check this out first, because those are fun. <laughs> I love these missions. So we'll check that out before we get into something super serious. If it's anything like what we've done in the past with those, it's gonna be a real doozy. And you know, I could go for a real doozy right now. It's been a long ass day. It's been a, it's been a busy one. And so I would love nothing more. Oh, what do we got here? What do you, what do you got for me, Cleet? Good old golf Cletus. I left a pie at your trailer with Patricia. Good to see you've settled down with a lovely woman. Uh, well, funny thing about that, Cletus. <laughs> Little do you know, uh, she's definitely not with me. Uh, may or may not have kidnapped her from a uh, from a mob man, more or less. And uh, something tells me he's not going to be too happy about that whenever it is that he decides to wake up out of his slumber. Uh, and it's not really the one from Aladdin either. Who dares disturb my slumber? It is I, Fazim. Is it Fazim? I I I don't I I think that whoa whoa whoa. Oh, I don't like this viewpoint at all. This is all bad. I know how to change it back, but I don't like it. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, they're going after the white Bronco right now with that viewpoint. Oh, this is such a headache. <laughs> this is such a headache. Uh, I don't like... I also don't like that they're changing it constantly. It's like, just get out! Give me... Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry, guy on the ATV. I am sorry. That was not my fault. It really wasn't. <laughs> uh, we can. Oh no, no, no! I don't want to run over you either. Oh, I know how. I know how. The, how the viewers feel about me doing things that involve, uh, you know, the uh, digital abuse of animals. So we we will just uh, not do any of that. Douche gold. That was a thing. So, didn't mean to rub anybody the wrong way on that one a couple episodes ago. It was just, uh, you know, me doing digital tomfoolery. Thought it was entertaining, and it was for a couple. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, it was just, you know, going for going for those San Francisco Rush 2 Extreme Racing USA uh, stunt points right there. Is that an overturned... Oh, I thought it was an overturned car. But, alas, it's just a piece of shit van. This ought to be interesting. <laughs> Is that a... Smell any funny spices? Look like Fidel Castro there for a minute. Hey, huh? Passport, давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. Ты по английски не шаришь. Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы как один. Ты под гражданским арестом, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. I'm also gonna use the opportunity of ripping that American flag off of your vest because you're not speaking English there, buddy. Are you a protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you? Yeah. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи. Едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster. And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. Please tell me that you're running Civil Border Patrol out of that van of yours. A patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> Come on, both of you. That thing looks like a breathalyzer. That thing totally looks like one of those breathalyzer machines that they have you blow into the little tube thing there. How weird is this moment right now? 
Like, is this a thing that they do all the time when people stumble upon their their little name, their little uh, thing that they're doing? They're just like, hey, we've never met you before, but we're trying to uphold civil civil peace, and we're just gonna have you drive to the destination. We don't know who the fuck you are. We don't know that you're not gonna try to blow this entire thing up. Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people It's as real as my beard. And drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come on, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> Well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. Uh. Now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Hey, if you do well and you sit aboard a patrol trial, we will, of course, pay you for your time. Last time I looked, this was still a service-driven market economy. This I have to see. Hey, we're back at this place again. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Oh, don't you worry. I will. I'm exceedingly good at doing that inside of this establishment. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Lay off the old, uh, logger, logger, why don't you? Sheesh. Hey, you're banned. Is anyone not banned? <laughs> don't you cause no trouble now. Eh, don't you wear anything that's not denim? God. Apparently those three guys aren't banned. Or maybe they are, and they just don't want to leave. <laughs> And obviously, I don't think that that lady's gonna take care of all three of them by her by her little old self. So you know, oh, what do we got in the old vending machine here? Just a whole bunch of cigs, and whatever one of those is sold out. Interesting. Okay, so let's just hop back outside then. Like, okay, this the the the, the guy that kind of oh there there goes somebody. Okay. Stop the band's car. Okay. We're going after some musicians, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring him in, boys. Here, take the stun gun. Really? Damn, we got a stun gun? Tight. I'm super down with that. I don't know. They come here taking our job. All those mariachi jobs have been stolen. Yeah, I was gonna say these guys it's a band. They're not stealing anybody's job. They're just being a band. Oh boy. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Yes, we are. Ain't no valley high, or no, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, when you're chasing the mariachi, baby. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Why do they not have this kind of thing on cops all the time? I would be way more likely to want to watch cops if we had this kind of thing going on. Dude, this is tight. <laughs> Imagine watching cops and seeing people driving up and down mountainsides rather than just driving erratically in a in a busy neighborhood area or seeing somebody driving backwards on the freeway, which admittedly is very entertaining to watch. Oh, where do you think you're going there, Jose? No slight to anybody named Jose. I have a I have a couple of very very good friends named Jose. I'm just saying, there are also a lot of. Uh, there are a lot of Hispanic men that I've known that were in mariachi bands that were named Jose, <laughs> so... Because I thought they were stopped. They are stopping. Why would they stop right there? Use the stun gun on the mariachi. Oh, yes. Oh, I plan on it. Can I please just give you a nice stone-cold stunner? In the ass! Yes! And then he voided his bowels. All right, cabron. 
And you're gonna get one in the ass. One in the ass means one square in the balls for you, my friend, if you will just face me long enough so that I can. Loco de remate! Eh, loco in the cock! Eh, close enough. And, oh, there we go. Down he goes. Full of brush. And now they're back up, and that's the end of that. I pooped my pants! Not a good thing for bra or for black! Okay, so... Uh, sorry about you not having a door anymore or anything. Well, wait a minute! You're gonna leave me with the bag of holding of this... Oh, I mean, we got 500 bucks for it, and that was awesome. And we got to use a stun gun. And we got to... <laughs> We got to chase down illegal mariachis. That was kind of cool. But you leave me with this thing? But tight, though. They totally left their their freaking their little guitars in there. Super down. Okay, so we're at 11 minutes in. I think we got enough time to go do this uh, Federal Investigation Bureau thing. Hoping that it... Hoping to God that it's not, like, the longest mission in the world. Wow. Just demolished that thing. Hoping that it's not the longest mission in the world unlike some of the other ones of those that we have done but we will see I was I was very perplexed by the the Fidel Castro looking fella oh boy here we go this can't go well you know I've been thinking about it I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology where is my wife Patricia doesn't want to speak to you frankly neither do I I will find you okay well I'll put some coffee on that. I'll see you soon. Man, dude, Trevor's got some balls. You can't just talk to <laughs> that guy like that. But, I mean, he did, and he's going to continue doing that. If you're not going to get out of the way... Yeah, see? He learned. I didn't quite hit him. I almost hit him. It was uh, it was a little bit closer than I would have uh, than I would have liked. But, you know, he kind of did that to himself. So, like, the, the guy that didn't speak any English, I, like, for a while there, I thought that he was just playing, like, a prank on me. Like, he was just talking in foreign language like that, and then eventually he was going to come around and be like, Ha! I'm just messing with you, man. But he just totally didn't. That guy, for, for not knowing a lick of English, is extremely devout about, protect, uh, about protecting the uh, United States of America's borders. It's uh, actually very interesting. Oh, damn. I'd love to have me a Blarney's. Okay, so where do we go? I feel like I'm missing something here. Am I supposed to go out back? Is that what's going on here? We go over uh, over here? Into the, the secret ice storage area? No. There's a lost cock. Oh, boy. <laughs> we lost Dick right around about five this morning. Don't know what happened. In here? What what am I missing? Something's not quite right here. See that or we're just supposed to go up here. This might be where we're supposed to go. Cause I'm I'm literally holding straight up. I uh, okay. Where are you guys? <laughs> I am I am very lost at what's going on right now. I thought for a second there we were gonna have like a plot shield moment, but we we didn't. Anybody? Am I all alone in this? Where the hell is everybody? Here we go. We're good. Why is Michael here all of a sudden? Oh, nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mock, <laughs> isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So, f 
far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? I'm, dude, one of these days, one of these days, these two are going to fucking square off, and I can't wait for it. I can't wait. We've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired. Sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm! And a room full of you cunts! Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man! It is the old you! Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Oh, goody. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Oh, good. I get to go traipsing around through this disgusting building again. Okay, we'll go get into our car and we'll go try and find a way to get our hands on that two million dollar tandem rotor chopper or whatever. That ought to be a just a nice, just a good old stroll in the deserty park. Can't wait. And off to Polito Bay, only three miles away. At least we have a car that can actually drive. <laughs> We've not been driving the most luxurious vehicles today. Hello, Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Apparently Lester's not the driving type, as it would seem. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you take it down a bank for a few million, the first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, <laughs> <laughs> meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend. <laughs> I mean, you called him psycho and friend there just a little earlier ago there. But then... Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. Gross. <laughs> but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys. The niche drugs. The everything. Weird music? What weird music does Trevor listen to? What are we talking about? 
You are a hipster. <laughs> You're a hipster. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'd call I don't know if I'd call Trevor a hipster. <laughs> he doesn't quite fit the the hipster mold as far as I'm aware of it. The bean machines? Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? How long do they just sit in the car? Or over there? Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. <laughs> I just crash into that pole. Sorry, I've never driven a bus before. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. With his jizz. Shall we? And his fine lotion. We'll get started. The jizz is just because he enjoys it. Drive us to the bank. All right. Well, if I must. I will go to the front of the bank. Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> Mainly because there is no local PD. <laughs> this isn't even quite in the heat of the night style, where even Sparta, Mississippi, which isn't even a real place, actually tends to have something like that going on. Blaine County Savings Bank. I mean, it looks official enough. Am I just going to go strolling in here? Let's at least have a look and see what's going on. <laughs> I, I must have missed something there. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, I looked away for a moment. You guys saw it, and I just totally didn't even see that. Okay, well... Oh, that was just one of those classic moments where I saw it right in front of me, and I it just totally went. Whoop. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's actually take a little bit more of a hard look at the dialogue here this time. Focus on the bank. There we go. Nothing special. Take us around back. Okay. Yeah. See, I I made uh, made a little bit of a mistake there. Okay, so the lot over here. Oh, for God's sakes, really? And no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. <laughs> Which is so zero. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Okay. Let's just park right over here. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's going to cost more to break that system than the score is going to pay. And we're going to have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay. Shoot the alarm. All right, well, that seems easy enough. Nobody's going to be the wiser if we're all the way out here. Back in the car. You better hope they don't have any cameras that just so happen to be hanging out back here to see the guy in the nice suit taking target practice. Okay, let's go check this out. This is kind of an interesting way to, to kind of gauge this out. I, I actually like the way this is unfolding. I apologize for the weird driving again. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. Wow, that was really fast. Where the hell is the fucking the police station? This is not normal. The Apparently, I'm a code thirty. Proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Okay, so what are we gonna do then, smart guy? This is them. 
What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah. Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Because there's nothing suspicious about three guys sitting in a car across the street from a bank that just had the alarm go off with nobody getting gas. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're go going. Okay. Now let's switch over to the man here. This ought to be interesting. We're gonna race Michael to Trevor's office. <laughs> if you could even really call that an office. I don't know. I think calling that an office might be, uh... Eh, it might be just a little bit much. And let's be honest, we're, we're on a crotch rocket right now. This thing is easily going to beat Michael. Oh, God! And, and Trevor back to the... Oh, damn, look at how whiny this gets. Are we listening to Higher Love right now? I think that we are. Okay. Uh, where is this thing taking me? Okay, here we go. Damn, this song is the jam, too. Why are we going this way? Why couldn't we just... Why couldn't we just take him on, uh, <laughs> on just the regular road? We would totally outrun him that way. They're just trying to throw some spice in our life. Let's take it on. I'm super... Oh, God. Dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> one of these days, one of those assholes is going to pop his head out here, and I'm not going to be able to stop, and we're going to have ourselves some good old-fashioned deer jerky. Oh, God, he's like... Is he right behind me? Is he, f is he seriously driving on this road behind me? <laughs> that seems pretty ill-advised for a Toyota Alteza slash uh, Lexus IS series following me on one of these. However, this tunnel's awesome. This would be a nightmare holding your breath through it, though. For people that actually still do that. I totally still hold my breath all the way through tunnels. Been doing that ever since I was a little kid. Oh, boy. Dude, this is exciting as hell. This is fun. This little back road area is tight. Oh, God. All right, there we go. Kind of has, like, some of the windy-ass nature of uh, a couple of the races from uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. Once you open up one of the uh, auxiliary areas in the game, I think it's, like, the something-something heights. <laughs> Pretty sure that wasn't the actual name. I think their development team had a little more creativity in them than something-something heights. Okay, should be able to get there pretty quick. Since we're motoring. We'll probably have to call this thing an episode here pretty quick. Oh boy, come on. Oh no, don't hit that, don't hit that. Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry about the abrupt pause there. I had a phone call from my fiance, so had to pick that one up. So let's get back down to business. And I hope I don't go careening off the road with this, but here we go. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that could have been worse. Oh, yes, back to the song. I totally forgot this was still playing. Super down with that. By the way, I had somebody tell me uh, last episode that the audio for the game was a little quiet, which uh, I, I've i had the same audio balance for everything, uh, for the for all my GTA stuff, the exact same throughout the series, but uh, I, I agree, though. It seemed like it was abnormally quiet, and so I, I bolstered it up a little bit for this video. If it still seems a, a bit quiet, do let me know so I can kind of adjust it some more. It seems like it's been okay, but, you know, your guys' you judgment so is going to be more important than mine, win. so just let me know what you think. I gotta give Michael credit, man, for being in a car following a, a crotch rocket through a <laughs> crazy, windy dirt road in the mountains. Set up a board over here. Actually, oh. not bad. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm Did he just put a bowl of cereal in the microwave? Huh? No, is that I what I just saw? Because that you know, is not good. Moody, right? Also, no-go vodka, decisions. probably not good. <laughs> That's how I ended up here. Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, 
Some plans for your attention? Good. I'm I just see there was an advertisement for a chicken festival on his bulletin board because I think I saw that. So I, think I little, sure uh, did. With Cluck and Bell. That the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you got to face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Well... I mean, just looking at that, he looks pretty good. <laughs> His accuracy is pretty satisfactory. But let's let's at least... Oh, okay. Not you, Daryl. Sorry, man. I, as much as... Uh, for, being an, for being an expert gunman, your accuracy, weapon choice, and shooting rate are all really bad. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take your expertise into question there, bud. Uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. You know... I think he earned it. We're going to give him a shot at it. Really the guy you want? Yep. Yep, I think so. Actually, hold on real quick. Is there anybody else? So Gustavo is definitely the best choice, but he also requires the most money. Or he he takes the most money. I think we we got to give we got to give Chef a try, man. He's a very accurate man even more so than Gustavo. So, we're going to take him. And we got the connect. Do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel. <laughs> He's like, just because I have no earthly idea what's inside of that fucking bowl of yours, I don't know if I want to be shacked up in here or not. Plus, I really don't want term. Yeah. Trev, that's what you get for not only eating the mystery bowl of goods out of the fridge, but putting it in the microwave? Oh, oh, it just made my skin tingle. And not in a good way. It was it was bad. Okay, so, my friends, we're going to stop right here. And uh, when we come back, on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V, it looks like we're getting ready for another interesting one. It's uh, on a much smaller scale bank, but the stakes look like they're kind of high, so I'm kind of interested in this. So, when we come back, we're going to uh, get some of the setup stuff done here, because it looks like we've got some things we need to uh, acquire first before the job can be done. And uh, we'll do that, and uh, it'll be awesome. So, until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take it easy. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.